Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to get your location very very precisely and also put that location on Google Maps. If you want to see more tutorials like this, click that thumbs up button and subscribe and let's begin. In this tutorial I will use few third version, Tailwind CSS, Beat and two more plugins for getting a location and displaying uh, your location on Google Maps. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin guys. Uh, what we need to do first, uh, we need to install our Vue.js. For doing that, I will use this uh, repository, Beat Vue Free and Tailwind Starter Kit. Uh, okay, and uh, now uh, I will leave this URL in the description, and now I need to copy this URL and just open new terminal and uh, just type uh, git clone and paste that URL. Okay, wait a little bit and I'll open this folder in terminal. Okay, and now uh, let's check it's already installed. Yeah, it's already downloaded. And uh, now just install all packages and pm install from our package.json file, this file. Wait a little bit. Yeah, it's already downloaded and let's try to test it. It's everything is working perfectly. npm run dev, npm run development. And let's see, guys. Yeah. I think it's working perfectly. Yeah, we can go to the next page, back. And now we need to get our gel location. Uh, and for doing that, first we need to create component where we put our codes and where we import our uh, Google Maps component. And uh, I can create a new file in our components and uh, let's name it uh, Google Maps that view and create some template tags, template and uh, some elements and in our paragraph I just type something like Google Maps component. component. Let's try to test it. You can see uh, we can't uh, see any text because of uh, we didn't import this uh, component in our uh, page. Uh, I can import that in our home page for doing that. Let's open home page and uh, import our new components. Import uh, uh, Google Maps from uh, component components and Google Maps that view. Yeah, we imported this component. We don't need a button wrap anymore. Uh, Google Maps, and now we can delete everything from this place and just import our component in our template. Okay, let's try. Okay, we can see text right now. And let's go to the geolocation. Okay. How we can get location? Uh, we can use a library uh, which name is view free Java location and you can see this library and uh, if you are using second version you need to use another library I don't know maybe just without free you can just uh, install it and it will work also like this and okay let's copy this text and I need to open new terminal and just type npm install and install this okay npm install view free gel location okay what we need to do next let's go to our documentation and as you can see we already installed the uh, this plugin and uh, in our main.js file we need to import view free geolocation from view free geolocation and uh, use in our app. Okay, uh, now let's try to import that. Let's find our main.js file. Uh, okay, and in our main.js 
file just type import view free view free gel location from uh, view free gel location and uh, now we need to type app use view free gel location okay we imported our component in NGS and now what we need to do next we need to get uh, locations our location where we are we can get our location very very precisely uh, if we are using GPS if we are using our phone uh, when you are using computer and it's uh, don't have GPS you can get uh, very precisely you can get only your like uh, town or something like that but if you are using phone it's very very accurate do like script and JavaScript okay and now we need to create uh, created method on created created event um, on created and uh, now we need to type this uh, ge uh, this get location I think and then we can then we got some location we can just get location and uh, and remember let's go to our documentation when then we get response we can I will just I'm gonna just copy this and just paste in here yeah, like that like that and uh, when we will get our location we, uh, we will see that in our console uh, let's try is working or not refresh the page and uh, let's see uh, okay we got our latitude and longitude very nice uh, what we can do with our latitude and longitude we can put on Google Maps and we can see where we are very very precisely what I'm gonna do right now okay let's go uh, for Google Maps, uh, we need to install uh, another library, which name is View Free Google Map, and uh, let's try to install that. Okay, npm install View Free Google. Like, I don't want to make mistake. Uh, Google Map. Okay, Google Map. Okay, let's wait a little bit. We already downloaded this uh, library and uh, let's go to the documentation and see how to implement this in our components. Okay, we need to import, uh, we will need uh, two components. We will need marker for, uh, for like uh, dot where we are and also we'll need Google map, map component uh, now we can just import this in our component. Let's try to do that. Import, uh, we need Google Map and also marker from view free Google. Oh, I don't remember. View free from view free google map and now we need to what we need to do next we need to get our latitude that we have from our geolocation plugin and we need to okay we need to display our google map component and marker in our template okay let's try to do that i'm just gonna copy this and let's try to do that mm, yes okay we will need our api key and what i didn't done i didn't imported our components and our components okay uh, let's import our components components 
uh, Google Map and Marker. Marker. Okay. And now we will need our API key and positions. Uh, latitude and longitude. Okay, let's try to create some. Let's try to create some variables. Return and we will need latitude equals null and longitude equals null right now. And what we need also will need API key. API key. Uh, I will leave empty string right now. And uh, now we need to set our latitude and longitude when we call this get location function and we ne need to set to these variables. Okay, let's try to do that. Uh, this latitude equals coordinates latitude and this uh, longitude equals coordinates uh, longitude. Let's try to do that. Now we don't need any console log. We need to uh, set our uh, latitude and longitude to our Google Map component and for our marker, uh, there we are, and uh, we can just create object and in the object we can just type latitude equals uh, this latitude, let and longitude equals to our longitude. And also we can copy this and put uh, here, like that. We can try to test it. Okay, uh, we got some error. Something is wrong in English and uh, I think this is because of we don't have any API key. And how to get API key? Uh, it's very simple guys. Uh, we need to go to Google Cloud Console and let's go in and now you need to uh, create your account or something like that i already have that and you need to uh, click on this uh, select button uh, input uh, in the top and uh, create new project click on this button and you will get like two inputs uh, your project name and also uh, like your organization name or something like that and when you already create your project you can go next with me let's uh, go uh, choose your project uh, I ch chose my project and you need to delete this welcome parameter from URL and just type API's and wait and now uh, we need to choose uh, click uh, this button credentials Okay, um, now we need to create, uh, click on create credentials, choose API key and wait uh, for, okay, it's already generated and copy this API key and paste in our, uh, in our variable API key and uh, set this API key for our Google map component like that API key and before API key uh, attribute put uh, the symbol and now let's test it again okay refresh the page okay something went wrong why is like that okay uh, if you got this error sometimes it happens your API key is not already valid or something like that you need to wait about five minutes and uh, I will wait okay uh, my API key is already working and now we can see on this location shown very very precisely and um, with my personal computer but also I'm using my uh, uh, like phone uh, network connection maybe of that and you can see where we are where I am and what we can do in this uh, Google map we can do a lot of things like uh, we can make a courier like courier is coming to your doors and see where he is I will show how to do second marker okay let's try to do that 
and let's copy this marker and let's make like latitude uh, plus uh, zero 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 one like that and we can see what's going on we got our second marker like courier marker or something like that and we also can make uh, changes uh, uh, we can make we, we can change our icon and uh, put label how to do that like put label we can just uh, uh, create a label in our data label like it's courier and uh, just copy that and just put in our object like that and now we see where courier is like we can uh, like uh, uh, get location from courier send to server the API and uh, get uh, back location where is your client and also uh, send client location to the server and get the courier location and uh, make uh, some interval and refresh uh, coordinates like that and you can make your own app with that and if you want to see like uh, I'm creating a real-time courier and uh, a client app with order uh, like pizza or something like that uh, like this tutorial if I will get uh, 100 likes uh, I will create this tutorial and also uh, don't miss that subscribe button and uh, if you want to see more tutorials like this and also comment you will help me bye